Hello, I'm Entrylism, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16. There's some visitors coming along. We've also got Gip Gip and Marston added to our colony, who are lovely, lovely pyromaniacs. This is going to go oh so well. We need to, like, research fire extinguishers or something at this rate. Is that should probably be something you can actually research? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we're working on expanding the living quarters so that we actually have room for them. Uh, we'll also need room for a uh, prison facility, and at some point I would like to actually train some uh, elephants, maybe some rhinos or something, just so that we do with uh, creatures that are capable of hauling stuff, because we actually will need, you know, some effectively pack animals that can carry our stuff around the world as we go. That would be pretty useful. Right. We should have another look at the beauty. Okay, so that stone floor is giving off two per tile, whereas wood is giving off nothing. Dirt is a minus one. Oh yeah, that rock wall is a minus two. Bed is an eleven. That bed's a six. That bed's a minus two. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible quality bed. That bed up there is eleven. Auto doors. Excellent. We finished auto doors. What are we going to do now? Uh, ooh. I guess we should start on the microelectronics. Oh, fire foam. There is something for, like, fire extinguishers. That's awesome. Powered armor. Vitals monitor. Multi-barrel weapons. Yeah, we do want to get tr uh, transport pods, so we should probably start with the microelectronics. Um, just around to think if there's anything else we want. Passive cooler. You know, we are going into the summer, so... Do we need a passive cooler? We have enough electricity. We can probably do about passive cooler. Yeah, let's do microelectronics. That'll open up a, a whole load of other stuff for us. Yeah, get to work on that one. Uh, what else do we want? Major break risk. God damn it, beauty. Gip Gip and Marcin. <laughs> Yeah. That's probably just going to happen. There's not much I can do about that. Hopefully if we actually get a, a move on with building their place, they will not go crazy and kill people. That'd be good. I don't really want them to go, you know, they'll probably go crazy and burn everything down. Visitors are leaving. Goodbye, visitors. We couldn't buy anything off you, could we? No. That's fine. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Don't die on the way. Uh, what else do we want? Flooring. Alright, I'm actually going to put a slate floor down in here as well. That uses quite a lot of slate. Food production is good. Drug production is... Well, we've got the... Raw chemicals. We should probably actually work on the drug production side of things. Uh, production. Drug lab. Yeah. Because that's how we roll. It's basically like some sort of uh, kind of retro Breaking Bad kind of thing. Who can be charge of making the drugs, I wonder? Let's see. I like the fact that the rooms don't really have walls or floors. It's still covered in rubble, etc. But we've we've put lights in, and a bed. That's a start, I guess. Heat wave. Oh dear. A wanderer has joined. Ooh, hello. Amy. Wooden club. Uh, wearing pigskin pants. Really good at shooting. Incredibly good at shooting, and a careful shooter. Prosthobe. Afraid of bionic. Ugh. Artistic. Incapable of dumb labor. Social. Uh, you're pretty terrible. Okay, we're gonna rename you to Iron Hand Knight. That does fit in there. I wonder if I put spaces in. Iron Hand Knight? There we go. Feel free to join the colony. You are totally getting a gun, like a decent gun as well. You are going to be a really useful shot here. Firefighting should be a one for you. Patient should be a one. Do not doctor. Uh, bed rest should be a two. Flick as a one. Handling. 
Sure. Hunting. You're ridiculously good at hunting. In fact, let's make that a one. Constructing. Growing. Mining. I mean, we'll try mining. It'll take you ages. In fact, you are such a good artist. We should probably put you on the one there. And demote Gip Gip. Sorry, Gip Gip. Okay. Heat wave. It's 45 degrees outside. Yeah. We're going to have to start figuring out uh, a way to deal with this. This is going to be ridiculously warm. So I think what we need to do is emergency uh, heat thingy. Words. There are words. I mean words. Right. Temperature. There we go. We'll use that to dump the heat uh, outside. We'll also need to put in some vents. Um, we can put a vent there. Yeah. Vent there, vent there. Vent there, vent there, vent there. Up here, um, a little bit harder. We should probably put a vent here and then there. And this room, definitely want a, like a vent going into what is effectively going to be effectively sort of a, a battery room. It's going to look like a server room, but probably don't want that to overheat and die. That'd be bad. Is anyone working on the... Yes, thank you. Okay, target temperature, 21 degrees. Current power usage, high. It is almost 50 degrees outside. That, that, yeah, that's pretty high. Kitchen is dropping. Now, though, actually, the way I've got this design is pretty bad uh, because as soon as this door opens, we lose all the air. We should have made a sort of an airlock system, and you know, maybe I will implement an airlock system, but not right now. Just needed to get the system in place. Twenty-eight. Outside's forty-two at night. Thirty-three, verging on thirty-four. It's trying. Oh no, thirty-two. Oh, they're getting down there. Some of these inner rooms, though, are like thirty-five, etc. Thirty-six. Yeah, that's pretty high. Right. Who here has the rifle? Killian. Yeah, you're gonna have uh, a pistol. And I've just realized that I need to expand for more bedrooms. God damn it. It was so almost done with the bedrooms. Right. How are we going to solve this heat issue? Hmm. If we put a wall in here... Door, door. We'll probably need a couple of coolers, in fact, to actually keep this as a reasonable temperature. How much, like, are you using high power? You are using high power. Okay. Let's think about this. Where would I get two coolers in? There's honestly not much space, so I'm just going to go over the pole. Yeah, very quickly, this place is going to lose all heat, and we're going to end up ridiculously hot. Right, so wall, wall. I'm just drawing a blank right now about where we put the... Because we need a single wall for the thermal thing to be of any use. Can we walk across the solar panel? We can these days, can't we? Yeah, that should be fine. We'll put like two in over here. And you can't move it, can you? Can we, like, do that? Uh, 
Uh, I... And you can't relocate these, can you? No, let's cancel that then. The only way you're getting to that is through that corner, which is annoying. Okay, let's try mining over here instead. I've fluffed this so badly. Maybe if we just dump heat into this corridor. Maybe that would help. Right. Something like that. And then if we use structure, wall. And then we deconstruct this and put the doors in. That might help. I probably shouldn't be using wood. If we're all, like, in all honesty, we should probably get a little bit beyond wood by now and use, I don't know, what have we got? We've got granite or something? We've got light, uh, screw it, we use wood for the moment. Unhappy nudity. Well, we'll work on that. We also need more wood. No one's actually building any of this stuff that I've ordered because we have no wood. Uh, hello. I'm actually going to cancel this. And then build a copy. limestone wall and that way that should be basically ready to go okay how's it going up 51 degrees outside failed in construction really could do that whole you know harvesting of the wood thing that I asked about. Really, you failed again? I mean, you are like a zero on construction, I guess. But we need to train you. And you're going to be trapped in there. I'm cool with that. If someone can at least, you know... Please, dear God, cut the oak tree down. There we go. Yan Yan, build that wall. We're out of material. Excellent. Absolutely brilliant. Just, just what I wanted. Can we, like, build this? No? Okay, you know, we'll just do this nice and quick. Aha, right. Now we have ourselves a temperature differential. Iron hand night. Whoopsie, sorry. You should probably um be outside soon. All right, power. Connect the power up. I don't care who has to do it. Just kill him, do it quickly. And then we need to connect this with temperature, event, through to there. Orders, mine, and we'll connect it through to here as well. Yeah, 44 degrees in there, but this corridor is dropping quite nicely. In fact, we'll get this corridor down to like 20 degrees if we can. Yeah, 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 work on this vent. There we go. And we have temperatures dropping across the board. And 
And if we put a vent in there. I, I want Yan Yan selected. Thank you. Just wake Ramathara up. I'm sure Ramathara won't mind. And that way, Ramathara should get the like cool air flowing in here quickly. There we go. 30 degrees. That's a lot better. People should be a lot happier now. Heat wave outside. It's only 30 degrees, actually. The heat wave is going down. And I thought that was like me doing a really good job. Nope. Heat wave is over. <sighs> well, at least the heat wave ended. We are prepped for next time. We also need to get like a lot more wood. We'll actually have to do some uh, wood hauling over here. Ooh, maybe we should get some alpacas. Okay, so let's not tame the Ramathar. Uh, not <laughs> we'll tame Ramathari. No, well, let's not tame the rhino because we don't have anyone of the appropriate level. How we will try and tame? We can't tame the elephant, can we? Oh, we can. Because if we can tame them, they will have a, a effectively a pack animal. Aeon's got food poisoning. Excellent. Yeah, the chance of it attacking us is 2.5%. The chance of us uh, taming it is only 3.3. It's not great. Right, who is our best, like, handler? Seven, six, six. Okay, I'm effectively going to take everyone off the duty because they'll probably get themselves killed. Except for you lot. 4.5% chance. Yeah, so the chance of it killing us is over half uh, the chance of it successfully winning. Hmm, that's not good. Hey, Gip Gip. Are we out of slate or something? Like, no one is doing any stone cutting. Which is weird. Guess we don't have many people on the craft job, but still. <gasps> Microelectronics! Oh yeah. Right, what do we want now? Brewing? Just let people get drunk and stuff? Maybe, it made people happy. Gun turrets! Yeah! Although in my experience they don't tend to do very much these days, they just tend to... Because you know, they add firepower, but the game bounces out by adding enemies, so... And they are very much stationary, they get killed in every attack and you have to replace them. I'm not a massive fan of gun turrets most of the time. Who's risking it? Gip Gip. Okay, let's see what Gip Gip needs. Uh, very hot, shared bedroom, feeling bad, slept in the heat, awful barrack, wearing water apparel, ate without a table. Well, you didn't need to eat without a table. That one, I'll just say straight up, is just silly. Though if people could actually, you know, get some wood to build a bed, that'd be a start. Gip Gip is wandering around a psychotic state. Sure. Go for it. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Sometimes you just need to be in a psychotic state. It happens to the best of us. Right, haul all this crap. And this crap, which is still in the center of our compound. Do you think I'd have moved that already? Hmm. We should probably hunt some meat at some stage as well. That way we can actually build some fine meals rather than just relying on the crappy stuff we've got. Got some ostriches? We could have them for like... Eggs, maybe? We'll hunt this wild boar. And is there anything else we could hunt? Like, I'm kind of tempted to try and tame the ostriches. It would also increase our taming stats. A 3% chance of attacking on a failed attack. Wow, that's pretty brutal. Okay, I've got a few more ostriches as well. A lot of our time right now is going to be taken up with taming. But I think it's a worthwhile investment. Gip Gip still doing that. 
We need to, like, increase the priority of plant cutting. Yeah, it's really low priority. I'll make it go up to, like, a three for everyone. Come on, Yan Yan, you can do it. Finish that bed off. And then we'll assign it to Gip Gip. Uh, set owner. Gip Gip. There we go, Gip Gip. You've got a lovely room now. Made of slate. Beautiful thing. You're, you're going to love it. You're going to hate it, aren't you? You're going to go crazy. Yan Yan. Morning. Zeke. The cat. That sarcophagus is just so beautiful. Oh, starvation. And Gip Gip is starting to starve. Because Gip Gip is outside and not eating. I can't do much about that. I just suggest that you, you know, at some stage, come in and start eating again. Ooh, we can eat rats. We'll hunt the rat. We could tame the rat, but... Eh... Good shooting there, Iron Hand. We need to take use of Iron Hand's uh, amazing hunting abilities. The elephants are up in the zone we're not allowed to go into. I might just unrestrict that area. Just so they can go up there and try and like get them on side. Because we need elephants. The alternative is we go all the way down here, which is a little bit excessive. There we go. They'll probably wander away and won't be able to do anything about it. In which case, we'll switch to try and tame these elephants. You know. The more the merrier. Uh, we should also try and hunt a few more things. Let's we'll get a few more rats on the side. That said, we've got a squirrel here. <gasps> Why have I not gone for squirrel meat before? You're right here. There we go. Uh, oh, God. Elephant is attacking due to a taming attempt. Marcin, flee. Uh, probably the wrong way to flee. All right, flee this way. We're going to have to bring you around in a circle. Right, keep at it. Bring the elephant home. You got this. Right. Everyone, firing squad. You don't even have, like, a weapon. That's because you're terrible. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll, like, equip you with a club. And the elephant is down. Now, we could, like, try and heal the elephant or something. But, eh. I think we'll just eat the elephant. Tasty, tasty elephant meat. And we're clearing up the blood. Hexkins, would you kindly... Oh, we could rescue the elephant. Or we could just eat it. Dear God, that elephant took a while to kill. Lots and lots of meat time. That's going to be a real bonus to our uh, larder. Ooh. I was like, 82 meat? I approve. Sorry about killing your mate. You totally want to be tamed by me, don't you? Let's cancel the taming order up here. Okay. New plan. We tame the elephants down here. We'll get one female and one male. This is totally going to go well. What, what could possibly go wrong this time, eh? Oh dear, we're all dead. 
Anyway, for this episode, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Gip Gip is exhausted. Well, Gip Gip, you're still broken. Stop being broken. Comment down below, letting me know what you think is going to happen regarding the elephants. I honestly think they're probably going to end up killing someone, but we need a pack animal. We don't really have much of a choice on that one. Ooh, we could get Iguana for dinner. Until next time, however, stay shiny.